This is the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, technology you want, yield you can count on. Kane Tuppleman, Mazex Seeds Yield Specialist for Huron and Perth County. We're here at day three of the Canadian Outdoor Farm Show, a wet, cool day, uh, but we've had great success this week. One of the biggest topics of uh, discussion in our Mazex plots and along uh, throughout the show has been the, the topic and debate of corn maturity, how we'll reach maturity, if we'll reach maturity, and where we're at as far as uh, progressing on a year like this. Looking at farmzone.com last night, uh, for a later planted May, field such as our plots in that May 25th, May 26th zone. We're looking at about 2,400 accumulated crop heat units at this point up to September 10th. Uh, contrary to most belief, that's right on what we would have had in 2013, about 15 more actually. The difference obviously being the planting date and the later planted of 2014. If you get back in the area and in here in Perth, some of the earlier planted stuff on the Mother's Day weekend, May 9th, May 10th, uh, we gain about 250 heat units, which is a significant jump on the early planting this year as, as we'd expect. Um, when we look at crop heat unit ratings, the one thing to understand is, uh, is a heat unit rating of 2775, for instance, is, is the company's view on how many heat units it's going to require in order to get that variety to black layer or R6 maturity. In the Woodstock area, we expect a lot of varieties are the 2,900 to 3,000 heat unit range. So given what I've said on the math, at 2,400 accumulated, that leaves us about 500 left to reach the maturity of that variety. At this time of year, in, in normal conditions, we expect 20 to 25 heat units accumulated per day. So doing some quick math, at 500 required to get a 2,900 heat unit corn to maturity, uh, we're looking at a, a solid 25 to 30 days in order to get us there at, at consistently average accumulations. In order to get to black layer or R6, we need to take a look back at kind of how we get there in the corn plant. Uh, starting at R3, the milk phase, this is the, the stage when corn kernels start to get color, they increase in size and they get that milky fluid in the, in the kernel. At this point, um, moisture is, is typically around 80% in the kernel and uh, this happens typically around 20 days after silking. As we move through the milk stage into R4, the dough stage, we're starting to see uh, a more doughy fluid in the, in the kernel. At this point, kernel moisture is around 70% moisture. Uh, research would show at this point, if we get a, a hard frost, we're looking at 24 to 25, sorry, to 40% yield hit uh, at harvest if, uh, if the frost is a killing frost. As we move into the early dense stage R5, a lot of the corn in the area is, is approaching R5. Uh, the early corn is at full dent. Uh, R5 stage, we start seeing some indentation on the crown of the kernel uh, randomly throughout, and then as it fills, that uh, the dents will continue on the cob. As we move through the R5 phase into full dent, which you can see on this 2450 heat unit corn, um, kernel moisture drops to about 55%. Again, this occurs, uh, the dense stage occurs about 35 days after silking, 35 through 45, and continues on to R6, black layer maturity. As we reach black layer maturity, R6, uh, kernel moisture drops to 35% approximately. Often this occurs about 60 days after silking, uh, give or take a few days. At this point, the, the the plant has reached physiologic maturity. Frost impacts are minimal at that point. Uh, we still have concerns with test weight and, and starch buildup in the crop. However, we're in a pretty good spot and, and we'd be happy to get there this year. In conclusion, I think it's a great time. I can't believe how many people came up to me at the show and, and mentioned they haven't taken a look at their crop and seen what development it's at. It's a great time to go out there, open some husks, take a look for some ear rots, take a look again at some plant standability and stock rots, as well as harvest priority based on those, those pre-mentioned uh, topics. Um, if you need help, there's lots of resources out there. OMAF has a great staging guide as well as Purdue and many of the ag colleges. So here we've got a 2450 heat unit corn, obviously earlier for the area. We've got what we're approaching full dent. We've got a few kernels still left to do that at the dose stage. However, we're probably 80 or 90% full dent on a cob like this.
Once we reach full dent, we start watching the milk line, and that milk line is the change of the sugars to the starch in the kernel. Basically, it'll move from, from the top or the crown of the kernel down to the tip, and as we progresses down and moving down, we'll stage it accordingly. So halfway, often referred to as half milk line, 70% would mean the milk line has moved 70% down to the tip. This has been the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, great seed, great people. Harvest the difference with Mazex.